Now, what is up, everyone? Welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how this Clebio works. For uh, e-commerce marketing automation, this is a platform that can be helping us for marketing some emails, and I'm pretty sure that even um, sex the messages. So we're gonna get started. Uh, I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description in order for you to create your very first account you might be getting a few rewards just by signing up. So with that being said, I'm gonna hit into sign up. You guys just need to go into the link down below. And what you want to do is to choose an email, a passcode, you have to choose your company name, your company website, and your phone number in order to continue. Now, all of this information, guys, it's required in order to continue, so you might want to take that in mind. If you don't have uh, absolutely any kind of a company name or a company website, I can strongly suggest you to use some other tools, let's say, for example, like Google Sites, that is totally for free, uh, Wix, or even Shopify, that do, they do have some trial version of something like that. So after that, hit into, I'm not a robot, and hit into create account. Now, in this part of the website section, it's gonna be asking for a business platform. So this is gonna be, of course, uh, important because this is the way that Clubio is gonna be connected into our customer data real time. So what you want to do is to choose the business platform, whether we can use Shopify or all these other options, or I can try to go into the custom version in our case, let's try to look for, I don't use any of these. So I'm gonna hit into this option. You don't have to worry about this real-time tools. This is just for integration if you already have a website that was with those platforms. So what I want to do is to go into how many contacts you have, let's say less than 1,000. And in here, if we want to start making some automations of the marketing tool, of the email address, what I want to do is to look for a sended email address. So that's how it's going to be appearing to our sended name. So I'm going to hit into the name of my company. And here I want to choose the email of my specific company, which is actually this one. And hit into continue. Now, what's your top business goal? What do you want to achieve with this platform? What we want to do is to go into grow my audience or build customer relationship. And then how do you want to reach your audience? We can use email only, we can try with SMS only, or we can try it both of them hitting on the third option that we have in here. Now, what I want to do is to quickly just verify our account. And just like that, I'm already in Cycle Bio. So here what you want to do is to use the integrated external application. So that's the reason why the Clavio asked us for an external application. So if I choose the integrated external application, it's going to be showing me once again the integrations that uh, the data have available for us. So uh, in here, this is really important, guys, if you want to track some information about your customers and all that. So if you still don't know what to do here, I can strongly suggest you to yes. Uh, use something like, for example, MailChimp or try to use some other applications that are totally free. Now, MailChimp, for example, is uh, some email marketing tool that can help you to gather all the information about your customers. This is really, free. they have free plans into MailChimp, so you might want to take that in mind. If I go into the home section, what I do want to find is the objectives the performance, the list and segments, and the activity feed. In order to get started here into Clavio, what I can tell you to is to go and create your first campaign in order to gather some data. So here into campaign, I can choose create campaign. So I can type a uh, campaign would like to send, let's say email. I'm gonna hit create campaign. So here into this specific uh, information about my campaign, what I want to do is to name the campaign information. Let's say that I want to gather some audience retention. And here into tags, you want to create a new tag. In my case, let's say I want to just focus into Instagram, for example. So I'm gonna tap here, tag, there we go. So recipients sent to you, and here we do have the list of the segments that were already added into our account. And then after that, don't send to, you can add people who just don't want to add that. Then what I want to do is to include some tracking parameters in order to track more additional information. So we want to enable that. 
And after that, I'm going to get into continue to content. Here into continue to content, what I can do is to import the, the side of my email, of my custom email. This is a really, really great part. So here, what I want to do is to go into this miss, subject line, how they're going to be receiving an email. So let's say, for example, get yourself a 10% discount uh, now, like this. In the preview text, what I want to do is to uh, input something like congratulations, you are now part of the team, it's huge, like this. So what I want to do into the preview text, into the subject line, is just to add some, um, let's say, like retained information, so my clients can easily get attracted by my text and clicked into the email that I just sent it. I don't want to be considered as a spam either, so I just want to be really careful with my words here into the preview text and the subject line here into the sender name i want to choose the name of my company and the email address of my company now how would you like to design your email drag and drop text only or the custom code your email from complete control what i can strongly suggest you is to choose an email using a drag and drop because the drag and drop editor is really 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 easy to use so i'm going to click into that option and you guys might see that there are a lot of templates that we can use and it's really, really easy to use that. So depending on, on the niche uh, that you are having into your company, you want to choose um, the option that best fits for you. For example, I want to look for something uh, related into music, for example, because we do have here sports, we do have here something like college stuff, we do have Cyber Mondays, Black Friday sales, Black Friday sales, there are a lot of options that I can choose in here. I want to scroll a little bit down and see if there's something else that I can uh, that I can choose. So here I want to I want to go for basic. And here, as you can see, we do have some basic stuff that we can use if you don't want to get get involved in here. If I choose the filter by, I want to go for product announcement or go for newsletter. And here, as you can see, I think that I'm gonna just stick around with the shine off. And here to have the template preview. So if you are okay with that template, go into use template. And just like that, my editor has going to be popping up successfully. And what I can do is to just use the blocks, blocks that I have here on the left part and drag that in here as I am creating my email marketing. So here into the logo, I want to double click and I can change the text, go into edit. And here, what I can do is to uh, draw something else or just delete that and add that later. So here, I'm going to delete this for a second, like this. I don't want to see this at the moment. And here, for this is things for joining us, I'm going to say something related to my subject. Get a 10% discount. And here, the moment customer sign up for your newsletter about the company, you can change your image if you want to, most popular items. If you don't want to see something, let's say for example, like this text, I can just click into delete. I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this either. I want to delete this as well. And here into the blocks, I can add something else. Let's say for example, that I want to see a social links like this. Let's say that I want to assume that I don't have the social links available. So I can go into the content and here into my content, I can go and look for social links and once again, drag and drop. And there we go. I can click into my social links and then what I can do is to customize those options as I am adding those. Here I have my Twitter, I have Facebook, I have Instagram and I can input my link address in order to see that already been done. After that, I can hit into preview and test, which actually this is how it's going to be looking the email that I'm going to be sending into my customers. And that's how we can use Clubio. Really, really easy tool to start some email marketing campaigns. And here I do have the profile properties if I want to uh, test those. So I can send the test to myself and see if this one is accurate or if I, I need to edit something else. I'm going to hit into save and X exit. So I can use this draft for later. And here I can just hit into review and my campaign should be um, successfully created. And just like that, I am ready to send my first uh, possible campaign into emails. So that's the 
basic way of how we can get started here into Clubio, guys. Now, hopefully, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if this was a very useful video for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys on the next video. See you soon.